Hi, my name is Jane Stammer, coming from the Colorado School of Mines, and I'm here to answer questions on how to identify gold. Gold is a very rare and precious metal, um, and has been mined for thousands of years. And because it is so rare, it is actually very hard to find in nature, but if you do find it, these are some of the characteristics you might look for. Um, gold is very, very soft metal, um, very malleable, so if you think you might have found gold, um, it, you, it'd be easy to scratch. Um, gold is also very heavy metal, so um, if you have a lot of it in a sample, the sample will feel very heavy in your hand. Gold is, uh, by definition, gold in color, um, and that's another thing to look for. It's often found in veins with other minerals, such as quartz, but it's also found, can also be found disseminated throughout a rock just in tiny um, little particles. Because it is so rare, it is usually very, very fine-grained, but um, occasionally it gets concentrated, and you can find big um, nuggets of gold, which will be very, very heavy and very, very valuable. One thing to be careful of when, you're, uh, when you think you may have found gold is something called pyrite, which is actually fool's gold. Right behind me is an example of pyrite. Uh, it looks very similar to gold. The color is very similar, but um, it is a very, very abundant mineral and it has very, very little economic value. Um, it is oftentimes associated with gold, but um, don't be fooled. It's much lighter than gold and much more resistant than gold and uh, will not be worth much if you take it into an assayer. And that is how you classify and identify gold.